OL test scores in Southside school districts didn't change much this year. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstad talks to Danville and Henry County school leaders about what the consistency means for teachers and students. Henry County Public Schools, like all Southside school districts, didn't see huge gains compared to the previous year's SOL scores, but Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning Sandy Strayer says the consistency is not necessarily a bad thing. I feel very confident on uh, of how we did achieve this year. The district saw a two-point increase in reading and a three-point increase in math. History and social science dropped and science stayed the same. The two-point increase in reading is particularly positive, Strayer says, as literacy is the district's number one focus right now. We uh, started this summer working intensely on literacy. Mm -hmm. So we hope to make improvement in that area. Danville City School Superintendent Dr. Stanley Jones says he too is pleased with the consistency of his district's SOL scores, but he also says the scores indicate that there is still a lot of work to be done. The bigger question is what can we do to improve our performance? He emphasized that he hasn't had time to fully process and analyze the numbers, but says it's important to keep in mind that the SOL test is just one way of measuring student performance. My heart kind of aches sometimes because I understand uh, the need for an accountability system, but it's one measure. He says he's more focused on how the students feel about the work they're doing in the classroom. In Southside, Coulter and Stats, WSLS 10.